Hi everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals and we're getting ready for another week of our art journaling 2023. This week's scripture is 1 Peter 2.24 and this is New American Standard. And he himself brought our sins in his body up on the cross so that we might die to sin and live for righteousness. By his wounds you were healed. So this week's is a long, kind of a long scripture. And the prompts this week are a page from a book, the color red, and squares. So however you decide to interpret that. And if you want to just use a part of the scripture, you can. I'm tempted to just use, by his wounds you are healed. Uh, but Or you can use the whole thing or whatever you want to do. So... I am going to get my page from a book and think about and think about what I'm going to do cuz I'm not sure. So, I'll be back. Okay, I've gotten this far. So I started out we need a page from a book. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do a hymn book. And I got Hallelujah for the Cross out of an old hymn book. And then I decided that I would cover the whole page and hymns. So I started tearing ones out and I think that I'm going to tear them in half so that they are almost square. <laughs> square is one of our ones. I don't think this will be my squares, but I, I, I want it to be a little more mixed up than this maybe. And so I'm going to glue these down and let this be my background. And that is as far as I've gotten. So is that what I want to do? Do I want to tear these up? Let's see. See how I can cover this. Okay, so this is dry, and I think I'm going to build up some layers here for a background. So I'm going to take some white acrylic paint and just brush it over, and I'm going to use this cheap paint from <laughs> Dollar Tree because there's not as much pigment, so it's not going to cover it very well. I can get the paint to come out. I've noticed that um, since... 
since everything is going up in price, they've reset their paint at that store and it's in little bitty containers now <laughs> instead of the bigger ones that they were using. Wow, that is really thin. That might be too thin. <laughs> I've got green paint in my brush. I was busy painting flowers again. Remember I showed you the other day I did flowers? Well, I had green paint left, so now I did the leaves. So I've got various sizes of leaves that I can cut out to go with my flowers whenever the time comes, but I didn't wash my brush out very well. And that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind to have a little color in this, but it does look like this is not going to cover very well. So I will use some white gesso maybe. I think it's going to cover a little bit better. Go ahead and brush this around. And I'm sure this is just going to mix in with the gesso. Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me get a bigger brush. Uh, that wasn't what I meant to have happen. I'm going to have to go get one of my other journals and do and use this gesso for that, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe it does take just much. And this does, when it dries, it's more transparent. So I will still be able to see more of the words of these hymns if I want to. I haven't decided yet. Still thinking about what I'm going to do. I haven't figured that out yet. But I do know I wanted to get my background done. Give me time to think. Yeah, I'm going to have quite a bit left over. Okay, so I'm going to go get another journal and use that up on that one and let this dry. And then I will come back and we'll go on to the next layer. This is dry. I've been thinking about the concept for this, and I am very uncertain about what to do, which should make it fun. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a cross here, and I'm going to draw some squares in red and some squares in black. And so I'm gonna create this sort of circular motion where the blood of Jesus are the red squares coming off and this, our sins are the black squares going up to the cross. And maybe then the verse comes here. So I think I'm gonna do some watercolor pencils and then I think I'm also gonna cut some squares out of paper and glue on them later. So I have no idea how this is gonna look. But, might as well get started, see what happens. So I'm gonna draw a cross up here. These are ink tense uh, watercolor pencils I'm using. And I'm going to mix the light and the dark brown. Keep the dark, try to make it a little bit more dimensional with the dark on one side more than the other. But since it's wood, I'm going to mix them. some water. Which doesn't absorb because this has <laughs> gesso, which is fine. It adds some nice texture, I think, to just let it sit there on the surface of the paper. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. I like that. All right, 
I'm going to leave that alone and not muddy it up any more than that. I want the lines to show. And then I'm going to just start drawing some squares. And I will fast forward so you don't have to watch all that. <laughs> Okay, I think that is it. And I don't know if it's clear to everyone, but to me, I get, like when I look at my own page, I will know what that means because these are the sins being taken up that he took for me. And this is his blood that's coming down to wash me white as snow. And so I'm going to leave that and let that be my... <laughs> My solution to what we were going to do. So I've got my squares and pages from a book and red. So I think I'm good. All right. So I will let this go and um, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.